components. Again, this is one of the most, the thing I find that people find difficult, especially when you had to used to have to learn it in grade nine. So now in grade 10, it's a bit of a help, but if you did the, the explore or the investigation, you know, we, we drew a big number line together on the floor, but um, essentially what it, and I realize that the questions that were in there were not necessarily worded in the best way, but um, if we um, count off here, so this is this is one. That distance there is one. If that's zero, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it it doesn't matter. We just happen to use powers of two because they're easiest, right? To use powers of two, you probably know them the best. But we're working from that distance there. If you start with that distance, so this is the starting distance of one, right? One unit, whatever that is on the screen up there. It's probably like a foot or something like that on the screen maybe an inch on my, my computer screen. But that distance is the starting distance. If I take that distance now and uh, and change it, right? So I, I start with this. If I take that distance and double it, where do I get to? I'm not trying to insult your intelligence here, but if I take that distance and double it, I've got two, obviously, right? Two is like two to the power of one. If you write it as a power, before I doubled it, I had 2 to the 0, right? 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2. The exponent on here is essentially, how many times have I doubled the length of that line? This is like I've doubled it once, right? Doubled once, right? I took the length of that line and doubled it once, right, and got to there. If I double it again, if I take the length of that line now and double it again, where do I get to? Again, not trying to insult your intelligence. I mean, it's uh, it's just there, right? So we're at four, right? If I doubled it again, what is that number as an exponent? Two to the two, right? That number represents here. This exponent here represents in this situation, how many times have I doubled the length of that line, right? I've doubled it twice, right? Twice I doubled it here. And... If I did it, I can fit on the screen one more time here, right? If I double it a third time, I get to there, right? So this is like I've doubled it three times, thrice, <laughs> three times. If I go the other way, like you could keep going four or five, doubling it, whatever, right? If I, if, if I, instead of doubling it, if I did the opposite of doubling it, what happens when I do the opposite of doubling it? Cut it in half, right? have the thing. If I cut that in half, not only have I not doubled it, but I've done the opposite of doubling it, and I get to a half here. This is like one half, right? To show using exponents the opposite of multiplying by two, you use a negative exponent. You could say divided by two, which is what this fraction is, right? A fraction with a number on the bottom it's just, all this means is dividing by 2, right? A fraction, 1 half, it just means divided by 2. As an exponent, a half is 2 to the negative 1. This means I've doubled it negative 1 times. If you double something negative 1 times, I know that sounds kind of weird, but if you double something negative 1 times, what would that mean? Not only did you not double it, but you undoubled it, right? Like you went backwards 1, you went backwards a uh, Doubling at one time, does that make sense to you? Negative exponent means kind of going the opposite way. These two are paired up together. Two to the negative one and two to the positive one are reciprocals of each other. A half and two are reciprocals. If I kept going with this, if I took the yellow line and cut it in half again, again, if I undoubled it, where do I end up then? A quarter, two to the negative two. You could do it again and get two to the negative three for one eighth. Right, if I do this down here, one eighth. If you if you keep going with that process, each of these things m matches up, right? One quarter or two to the negative two. Two to the negative two is kind of partnered up with two to the positive two. These are reciprocals. And then the last one there, one eighth and eight are reciprocals. Two to the negative three, two to the positive three are reciprocals. So the thing to know about about negative exponents is 
negative exponents are re reciprocals. A negative exponent means a reciprocal. Okay? A negative exponent means a reciprocal. The reciprocal of a number is, um, you flip it over, right? If it's a fraction, you can turn it upside down. If it's a whole number or a decimal or something, you can put one over that number. Okay, negative exponent means reciprocal. That's the first thing to have. Then, you know, when we get into simplifying all the crazy expressions, like some of the ones I gave you in the warm-up, but that's that, okay? That's what that means. If somebody says to you then, what does this mean? 10 to the negative 5. What's that the same as without the negative exponent? Because we want to translate it into something with a positive exponent or just a fraction. What is that the same as? If you had a number line that had 10s instead of 2s, if you were multiplying by 10 instead of multiplying by 2, that's going to be the same as not multiply. If it was if it was 10 to the fifth, that means multiply by 10 five times. Times 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. There's five of them there, right? If it's a negative exponent, it means not don't multiply that many times, divide that many times. So it's going to be that on the bottom, right? 10 to the fifth on the bottom. Or you could just put five of them down there if you want. This is the same as that. You're probably just going to memorize it as, if you have the negative exponent, you can flip it over and put it on the bottom, right? Like if this was a one, you can flip the thing over. You can put the, the, the negative power on the top of that fraction can be put on the bottom of the fraction if you, if you change that to a, to a positive, right? You can take the negative exponent and put it on the on the bottom. If you had something where you had a negative exponent on the bottom, you could put it on the top and make it make it into a positive. If you have two to the negative seventh, what's that going to be the same as? One over two to the positive seventh, which is one over one hundred twenty-eight or something like that. This one up here, like you could actually write it as a number. This is one over one hundred thousand. Okay, so hopefully you start to, as we work through this chapter anyways, this unit, you get a sense of what negative exponents mean. It's one of the hardest things to get. You just have to make the connection that negative exponent means reciprocal, right? Top and bottom of the fraction. 